Hi, it's Mitch from PickDogs.com here with the free pick in the Spurs versus Grizzlies NBA matchup on Friday, March 22nd, 2024. If you like all the free picks we do at Pick Dogs, you'll love our premium picks, our best bets. Use the discount code PICK for 15% off. We also have products meant for people who make big bets, people with big bankrolls looking for that one-on-one -on -one concierge style service. We offer these products, they're just not available on the website. So you got to just text the number you see on the screen. So if you make big bets like I do, go ahead and text that number. But let's get to this one. You've got the Spurs hosting the Grizzlies. And, you know, when you look at these two teams from a high level, and I think, you know, most people that follow the NBA, and, of course, we follow it here every day at Pick Dogs and, you know, up and down the schedule, several people over and, and, and across the board. And, you know, generally when I look at these two teams, the Grizzlies and the Spurs, it's as much as critical as I've been of the Spurs, you know, over the course of the year, I consider them to be the better team of these two. But when you look at it, at the reality of the situation, the Spurs are 15 and 54 again, uh, straight up this season, while, the, while it's the Grizzlies that are 23 and 47. So nearly 50% more wins than what the Spurs have. So not something you you would have, I would have, you know, considered uh, on a high level, maybe because of the way that we've seen the Spurs play recently and the Grizzlies play recently is why I have that perception. I will take a look at all that. But anyways, the Grizz 34 and 36 against the number, while the Spurs 35 and 34. And a lot of that damage that they've done against the spread has been in their recent games. The Spurs are 8 and 3 against the number in their last 11 games overall. So they have been coming on strong. While Memphis, um, you know, while Memphis, it seems that when if they're going to put points on the board, it just happens on the road. They're 8 and 1 to the over in their last nine on the road. So Memphis hasn't really been a high scoring team this year with John Morant out of the lineup, uh, hasn't really gotten it done. What they've been is more of a defensive team. And they certainly from the season numbers, they're the better defensive team of these two, allowing just 112.8 points per game while the Spurs allow 119.7. So fairly significant. On the offensive side though, the Spurs averaging six more points than the uh, Grizzlies do. They also shoot about 3% better from the floor from three-point land, pretty much even. So, you know, it's it's give and take. These are two teams, you know, that are drafting in the lottery this year. So we're not going to see a lot of consistency. But when we look at what's happened recently, you know, and, and not over the course of the season, you know, a two-point differential only in uh, in points per game, even, even though the Spurs are shooting at a higher percentage than the Grizzlies. So basically, they've slowed the game down and started to play a little bit of defense, and that's why we're seeing covering some spreads. They're only allowing 112 points per game over their last five. Teams shooting 49%, which is a little to the higher side, but the Grizzlies teams are shooting 50%. From the perimeter, teams shooting just 34.5% against the Spurs, while they're shooting 36.5% percent against the Grizzlies. So like I said, when you look at the overall body of work, the Grizzlies appear to have the edge here. But when you look at the recent, uh, it's all Spurs for me in this one. I'm going to take the Spurs and that's going to be my free pick. Of course, when you're doing your picks, putting your bets in, be sure to use our free betting tools at sportschatplace.com. They're 100% free and they'll help put you on the most favorable bets on the board today.